Welcome to Once Upon a Word, I'm Mark and today I want to talk about internet abbreviations. So getting straight into it, uh, what is an abbreviation? Well here I've written a definition. An abbreviation is a shortened form of a word. So an example of this is Xmas. So in the UK, people use Xmas to mean Christmas, uh, especially when you're writing lots of Christmas cards and you have to say Happy Christmas a lot, people might just write Happy Xmas and it means Happy Christmas. Also abbreviation, a lot of the time, it's not just a shortened form of word but it's also used to mean acronym. So an acronym is a word that uses the first letter of a number of, of words in a phrase or a name. So an example of an acronym of a phrase is DOB. DOB, and that means date of birth. So, date of birth. So taking the first letter, D of date, O of of, and B of birth. So in a lot of these acronym abbreviations I'm going to show you, they are actually acronyms. And if you're being strict, I think you could say that abbreviations and acronyms are separate things. But a lot of the time, uh, you'll see that when people say abbreviation, they also mean acronym. Okay, so I'll get into the examples now. Okay, so the first four examples of internet abbreviations uh, that I think that you will come across quite often if you are using the internet are here. So first one, AFAIK. So that means, as far as I know. So when you're writing something on the internet, on social media, and you're not 100% sure about what you're talking about, you might write A-F-A-I-K. So for example, you are asked, what is the birthday of so-and-so friend? You can write A-F-A-I-K. -A, I think it's on Friday, as far as I know, it's on Friday. Okay, because you're not 100% sure. Okay, next one is BBS. Uh, BBS stands for be back soon. So this is when you, maybe you're chatting on social media on your favorite chat app to your friend and you have to leave the computer or you have to put your smartphone down, but you want to say, oh, I'll be back. I can talk in a minute, but I just, I've got to go and do something. So you can write BBS, and just a really fast way to say be back soon. Okay, next one is really, really common on social media, and that is LMAO, and that is laughing my ass off. So it's a very casual expression that you use just to show that you're very amused or you enjoyed something very much that someone said or like a picture they've showed you or a video they've showed you or some joke that they've said, then you can say LMAO, laughing my ass off. Another one which is kind of similar is LOL or LOL. People actually say now like for the lols, for the lols, and it means like for the laughs, to do something for a laugh. Uh, just for the lols, we surprised my friend by uh, turning up at, at his place when we were unexpected. Just for the lols. Okay, so these two are quite similar in use, uh, lols and LMAO. Just uh, when you're very amused by something you've seen or heard on the internet, you can write those. Okay, uh, I've got a few more, so let's get into those. Okay, welcome back to internet abbreviations and uh, I'm going to talk about the next ones. 
So the first one we've got is TL slash DR. That stands for too long, didn't read. So too long, didn't read. This is used when uh, you're replying or you're making a social media post. So if you're the person making the social media post and it's very, very long, uh, you may think, okay, some people, they don't want to read everything, you know, they haven't got time or uh, they haven't got the patience to read everything. So you can give a TLDR and that means you can give a summary. So a lot of times you'll see at the top of the uh, long post on social media, on Facebook or Twitter, you can see a section saying TLDR. And what that means is the person who's writing the post is giving you a summary of what, of what they've written. So for those people that don't want to read everything, they could just read the summary. And if you're a reader of social media, like you're, you're not the person writing, you can write in a reply to the person's post, oh, can you give me a TLDR? Like, I don't have time to read everything. So, so that means like, can you give me a summary? Like, I don't have time. Or I don't have the patience to read the whole article that you've written or the whole text that you've written. Okay, so it's kind of like TLDR, it's kind of like an abstract in uh, academic writing. So if you've seen, if you are an academic student or you have been and you've read research papers, you can see that uh, at the top of the paper it's an abstract and that's a summary of the long research paper. So a casual internet kind of form of that on social media like Facebook or Twitter where you write your posts is TLDR. Okay, next one is PLZ. Uh, this is quite straightforward and just means please. Uh, so it's quite slangy and quite casual. So you may see that uh, amongst young people when they're making their social media posts. Uh, next one is W slash E, and this just means whatever. So it's got the same meaning as whatever in normal spoken language, and that is quite casual, and may be used by younger people quite a lot. Uh, whenever I hear whatever, I always think of uh, a parent sort of telling off or nagging their teenage children. So like, can you clean your room? Like, you've got to get up now. You've got to go to school, like hurry up. Like, don't be so messy. And the teenager just saying, yeah, whatever, like, I don't care, kind of thing. So if you see W slash E, it means whatever. Okay, next one, TBH, is like a kind of set phrase, and it means to be honest. So you, you use this when you're, um, maybe you're gonna disagree with something someone said. So you can say like, TBH, I don't agree with you. Or TBH, uh, I think you're not 100% correct. Yeah, and so it's a very colloquial way of saying like, I don't wanna say to you like, you're wrong, but you're wrong kind of thing. Okay, TBH, to be honest. Next one is IRL, and that means in real life. So, uh, a lot of times, you know, we're caught up in this internet life of looking at the computer, scrolling social media, um, you know, posting things, just watching YouTube. But then you see, like, sometimes people write on like Facebook or Twitter, like IRL, like in real life, I went outside, like I got away from the computer. In real life, I did something fun. Yeah, and that's what they mean by IRL. Okay, we've got another round now. So I'll just rub these out and then we'll come back. Okay, our next lot of internet abbreviations is this. So IIRC, IIRC. So this stands for if I recall correctly, or oh, if I recall or if I remember, remember, if I remember correctly. So this is similar to AF, AIK, as far as I know, 
and you're just going to use it when you're not 100% sure about what you're saying. So like the previous example was, oh, do you know when Andy's birthday is? And you can say, ah, oh, IIRC Friday. So if I recall correctly, it's on Friday. So when you're not 100% sure of something that you're telling somebody, you can say IIRC blah, blah, blah. Okay. Uh, next one is GG, and this stands for good game or good going. Uh, I've seen this a lot on uh, like internet games. So uh, I'm a chess player, like not very good at chess, but I've been playing internet chess sometimes. And after the game, uh, the person who you've played with, if it's a good game, they may put a GG. And it's like a nice way to say, oh, thanks, that was fun, you know, so GG. I've also seen this GG on um, social media like Twitter. And I think there it's got more of the meaning of good going, like, oh, that was good, well done. So if you read something and a person's talking about something interesting they've done or an achievement they've uh, they've got, you, they, you could reply like GG, like well done, good going. Okay, next one is OG. And I'd say this is not particularly an internet abbreviation, although it is always, it is seen on the internet a lot. Um, originally, I think it came from maybe music culture or even like gang culture. Um, so it stands for original gangster but like no one will actually say original gangster. They'll always say OG. And it basically means somebody with a lot of experience and who's got a lot of history or background in that particular field. Uh, they're like an expert or they've just done it for a long time. So to do with music, it was like uh, the originators of hip hop music were the OGs, you know the DJs that played the music in the clubs in, in the 80s, or the break dancers, you know, they were OGs. And it spread to other music cultures as well. And then I think it's gone away from music and it's also in internet culture. So you can say like whatever field of the internet it is, like playing, playing a game or something, you can say, oh, that person's an OG. They've done it for a long time, yeah. Uh, next one you'll see quite a lot as well is NSFW and that is not safe for work. So you'll see this as like a warning. So like be careful. Like if you click on this link, you'll go to a website which maybe is not safe for work. So there may be some uh, things on that website that you don't want your boss to see you reading or watching. So maybe violent movies or things with sexual content or things which you should really not look at at work or at school. You know, maybe you can look at them in your own time, in your private time, but you shouldn't look at them on the work computer or the school computer, that kind of thing. Okay. So I've got actually two bonus uh, internet abbreviations for you that maybe are a little bit NSFW, okay? They're a little bit not safe for work because they've got some swearing, they've got some rude words in them. So I'll give you two. And if you're at work and you, your work doesn't allow swearing, maybe you can not watch this bit because it is NSFW. But if you're in an environment or you're, you're in your own home where you don't mind swearing, then you can watch the next bit and you'll be safe. Okay, I'll just turn this off and then I'll, oh, I can write it at the bottom. Here we go. So next one is WTF. Oh, WTF and FFS. Have you seen these before? Okay, first one is what the fuck, what the fuck. So you use this one when you're really surprised by something or like you're shocked, you know, you're very like 
dumbfounded. Uh, dumbfounded means shocked. You know, like, oh, this is really a big surprise. Wow, what happened? Like, what the fuck? So WTF, you'll see it on social media, you know, maybe they use the abbreviation because they don't want to swear, but they are kind of swearing. But it's used to express surprise. Okay, next one. FFS. This stands for, for fuck's sake. For fuck's sake. I think there's an S in there. So this is like, again, when you're really surprised and maybe devastated. So like you're very disappointed, disappointed that something's happened. So if it's a sports team that you support, that you love, and they've lost really badly against the really big rivals, you can say FFS, and it means for fuck's sake. Like, damn, I can't believe it. Like, really disappointing. Oh, I'm really disappointed. Uh, yeah, so kind of like WTF, but maybe with a little bit more like your disappointed feeling kind of thing but mm, it's quite similar to WTF okay thank you for listening this is the end of today's lesson from once upon a word uh, if you've liked it please subscribe and I'll see you again soon for more lessons okay thank you see ya